Turkey's defense budget is just a little over $20 billion a year, but what they have achieved with this small budget is eye-opening. Consider that Turkey countered the Kurdish insurgency, supported Katerinid's standoff with KSA and UAE, engaged in support of the NAR in Libya while being involved in significant operations in Syria. Besides all this, Turkish intervention won Azerbaijan the nagorno karabakh war against Armenia. And now, Turkey is extending considerable support to Ukraine in its standoff with Russia. The sheer range of engagements Turkey has simultaneously sustained is impressive, and the results produced deserve attention. Much of this has been possible due to innovative weapon systems, tactics, and strategies evolved by the Turkish armed forces, and these are worth serious study. One key lesson to draw from recent Turkish military developments is cost-effective power projection through the heavy use of autonomy. The $20 plus billion Turkish defense budget sustains the second largest NATO armed force and also makes room for smart investments to fuel an indigenous defense industry that is presently pursuing over 700 separate defense projects. These projects give a glimpse of future warfare, and they span the spectrum across domains, defensive and offensive capabilities, and include hardware and software. A few examples, cargo drones, fully autonomous anti-personnel and anti-armor quadcopter drones, with a 5 km range, and 30-minute endurance. Cargo drones can be deployed and used by a single operator. These have been battle-tested in Libya and perhaps Nagorno-Karabakh. TB2, Baker's TB2 is now the world's most exported drone ahead of any individual Chinese or US male drone. It has been extensively battle-tested against Armenian forces and in Syria, where it has successfully taken on Russian AD systems in concert with Turkish electronic warfare systems, like Coral, equipped with the Selsun's CAT COIR vision system and armed with Turkish manufactured MAM-C, MAM-L, and Lumta's precision munitions, TB2 is credited with hundreds of AD, armor and artillery kills. Anker S and Iksunga. Anker is Turkish aerospace's larger and more capable drone system compared to TB2. Iksunga is a new drone capable of anti-submarine warfare missions. A Kinsey, a new Baker drone which set an endurance record by flying at 38,000 feet for nearly 26 hours. The drone is capable of carrying a large payload of 3,000 pounds, and will deploy Turkish-developed Bozdogan and Gokdogan BVRAAM and WVRAAM. Myas Next-Gen Drone Baker's Mark I capable multi-role drone is slated to fly in 2023. Capable of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions, MIAS will be deployed on the Anadolu LHD to enable a significant expeditionary combat capability. Estimates suggest that up to 50 Baker TB3 and MIAS drones will be carried by Anadolu. Rockets and Alka Laser, a counter as directed energy weapon, Alka was deployed in Libya and destroyed a Chinese WL2 drone in 2019. The 50KW Laser M weapon has a destructive range of 1 km, with the ability to disable drone swarms as far as 4 km away. The Selsun Coral U system, a land-based electronic attack system with an operating range of 200 km and the ability to jam and otherwise degrade a range of radars. Armed ASVs ULEK, RD-09, and ASV-11. Multiple Turkish ASVs capable of deploying in ASW, AL, ASO and other roles. <music> Armaments are all mostly local Turkish systems, such as Elamtas and Turkish SAM capable of high speeds and swarm enabled. Drone carrier LHD Anadolu, slated to be commissioned in 2022, the 27,000 ton. Anadolu is an LHD built in Turkey with the ability to carry 50 AA and A2G mission-capable drones. 
the ship will also act as a command center and will be protected by autonomous ASV. Sapan Hypersonic M Gun Turkish Tubitak Research Council is developing Sapan, an electromagnetic rail gun capable of propelling projectiles to hypersonic speeds. In addition to this impressive array of diverse systems, there are a range of additional projects including the Ald A tank, the Gok B attack helicopter, unmanned gunship helicopter efforts, the SOM family of cruise missiles, the modern Milgem Corvette, Heisa SAM system, a Selsonias S band early warning radar, an indigenous ESA radar, and even the TIE TFX 5th Gen Fighter Project. Taken together with infrastructure projects such as an underdevelopment spaceport, Turkish Weapon Systems Investments indicate a high leverage, low budget, integrated approach to next generation warfare. You augment drones, which clear the path for unmanned ground vehicles, which reduce the burden on an MBT, like Alte, which is further supported by ground-based laser defenses against drones and long-range hypersonic M artillery. Meanwhile, command and control links are redundant and work through satellite, relayed through drones and are routed to fixed and mobile command centers, like those on the Anadolu. Existing legacy platforms, like F-16s are next in line to be upgraded with local ESA radars, locally developed BVRAAMs, and augmented with mice like high-speed, air-to-air capable autonomous drones. The picture that emerges from studying Turkish military developments is one that DOT could do well to replicate in part, cost-effective upgrades, next-generation investments, brave platform shifts like drone carrier ships, and an unapologetic pursuit of autonomy across all domains. In short, an impressive hyperwar machine, at a reasonable price.